Assalamu alaikum and welcome to our new country. We have just arrived in Sweden. I can't quite believe that we're here. We didn't plan on coming here at all. Um, obviously, if you look at the map, Copenhagen is only a about 35 minute train journey to Sweden. So we're in Malmo. We're here for a few hours and let's see what we get up to while we're here. <laughs> The train was such a weird experience. So we took our passports in case, but if you got off at the first stop, you needed a passport, but we were the third stop, so they didn't need it. So that was quite strange. Went to a new country not needing a passport. <laughs> but I mean, that's good. It wasn't a lot of hassle to get here. So I would highly, highly recommend coming over if you are in Copenhagen. We watched a YouTube video last night with some recommendations that I've taken note of. So the first stop is Malmo Castle. Now, we're not normally into castles, but this one seemed really quite interesting because it has lots of different little sections inside. And the one section that I found very interesting was they have a Muslim fashion bit where there's like eight hijabis so I thought that would be quite interesting I definitely need to go and see that if I'm here so that's the outside of the castle it's not your regular looking castle but I have spotted some hijabis on the entrance there I'm gonna get closer so you can see it properly but looking forward to going inside <laughs> enjoyed the museum um, as soon as we walked in turned left the hijabi fashion area was just there and it was actually a really really lovely display there was a picture of the two girls who have created all the outfits and it was just really really different and really lovely to see so that was really the only reason we went in it cost us 120 Swedish Corona which worked out about eight pounds so not bad at all uh, we had a little look round some nice little bits it's very different I would say I've never been to a castle like that before in my life 
so that was nice. Now we are heading to a place called Lila Torg, I think you pronounce it. I think it's just like a little square here in Malmo. We're on the hunt for some fridge magnets. You know that we like to collect each country that we go to. So feeling a little bit hungry as well. We did see a little noodle bar just down the road, so we might head there and get some noodles. We do normally like to eat the food in the country, but this trip we haven't done that at all. We just had shawarma last night and I don't know, I think we'll just, I did have a Google to see what the food was and it said it was kind of cabbage things, a bit like Poland. So we'll see what we can come across anyway. <laughs> But this restaurant is just full of Scotland flags. <laughs> <laughs> So after about 10 minutes of deciding on which fridge magnet to get, we did decide on one. We went for the same ones each other again. <laughs> now we've just walked along the road and we're just admiring this city. So I'm going to show you the view just now. I feel like you get one of these statues in every country. I'm sure somebody said that that is the king of Sweden, but I'm not 100% sure. But in Glasgow we have one very, very similar. and. There's been a cone on the guy's head <laughs> for <laughs> since it was pretty much put up there, hasn't there? <laughs> we just stopped off to get some food. We got two burgers, chips, mango milkshake and a chocolate milkshake from Max. <laughs> <laughs> that is so so good. <laughs> famous people's shoes. That's something really interesting that I've never seen before but I honestly don't actually recognise any of these names <laughs> but still it's a nice touch. walked about 30 minutes away from where we just were and we've come to this little garden area. This was also recommended in the vlog that I'd watched and it is really really beautiful here. So we're just going to have a little walk around, see what there is to do here and then I think we're going to have to maybe get the train back to Copenhagen. <laughs> at the train here there's one that says Copenham which I'm hoping is Copenhagen <laughs> to be the 1633 so far coming back seems to be a lot easier than it was going but hopefully I've got the right one there's a train arriving just now not too sure if that's our one the train's meant to be leaving at 1633 and now it is 1625 so we'll just have to find out if this is the right one I'm really glad that we came here though. It wouldn't be somewhere that I think I would go to for a wee city break, but it was definitely nice to go and see the city and do another country of course. I think next time I would rather maybe try and out the capital, inshallah, but 
Uh, no, we've had a really lovely day. Now just to head back to Copenhagen. Hopefully this is the right train. <laughs> this app I downloaded is called Bean and you can put in which countries you've been to around the world. So, so far I'm on 23. Now let's add Sweden. 24 countries, alhamdulillah. I've just got another 100 and... <laughs> another 171 to go. We literally had the most embarrassing thing happen to us on the train, so we didn't get a ticket before we got on, thinking that you could just buy it on the train like you can in Scotland. And the ticket lady comes up and asks for the ticket and I asked to buy them and she got quite angry that I hadn't already paid for it. Um, but in all fairness, there isn't actually a lot of people at the train station to speak to. Uh, like on the train going to Sweden, we had to speak to somebody in 7-Eleven because we searched the whole station and there was nobody there actually to speak to. So it's quite difficult when you're a foreigner and obviously don't speak the language and there's nothing really written in English either. She also got a wee bit angry saying that she lived in London and in London you can't pay for the train tickets on the train. But I tried to explain to her that Scotland have different laws to England and Scotland you definitely can because I've lived there all my life and I think I would know. Um, but that was it, it was okay, alhamdulillah, everything went fine. We've arrived back now in Copenhagen and that is our trip done in Sweden. So if you ever find yourself in Copenhagen or Sweden, make sure you buy your train ticket before you get on the train. <laughs> Don't make the same mistake that we did. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, give me a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next vlog, inshallah.